there is a new theory about Citadel doing some shenanigans behind the scenes, kind of moving things around to affect the price of what's going on with AMC. But this is just a theory. I'm going to share with you what this individual posted. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are about this in the comments down below. Again, it is just a theory. It's just speculation. Um, we're not saying that they are for sure doing this, okay? Before I get into that, I want to go ahead and say a special shout out thank you to our Patreon supporters. I really do appreciate it. There's a link in the description if you guys want to join that and a double shout out thank you to Rem AG. Also, please keep in mind I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion, my own research, and I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research as well. Quickly here, we're going to take a look on the charts first off. So we can see it went down. 0.19% on the day, which, by the way, was pretty odd given the fact that it was having a really nice run-up. If I go ahead and move this over here, it had a nice run-up to over $44. And then, lo and behold, in that last one hour, basically, a little bit over the last one hour, all of a sudden, it just started tanking. Lo and behold, right? Now, if we go ahead and swap on over here to the 15-minute time chart, you can see it just progressively started going down. Luckily, it had a little bit of a bounce there towards the end. But yeah, like everything suggests that this is looking absolutely beautiful. And lo and behold, <clears throat> that $44 level, they're just pushing so hard to try and fight against that. Now, something for you to keep in mind too, volume was at 38.15 million. Still quite low. If we actually zoom out here a bit, you can see the levels that we have right here in comparison to all these days back around in the May period. It is, I was going to say infitens, infitens, I can't even say the word now. Forget what I was going to try to say. <laughs> it's very, very small by comparison. That's what I was trying to say, okay? Now, something that's good is that you typically have two or three. Three is better of trend positions to signify a trend continuation. And guess what? Above this level of resistance, we have one day of closure, two days of closure, three days of closure. All three are green. So that suggests that we are more likely to see it now have a further continuation up and being in the green zone, right? So as it is, we can see that there is some resistance taking place here at $44.30 from back on October 19th, November 3rd, and November 16th, and actually a little bit pretty close to around these dates as well. So if it manages to get up above that, I'm looking at the next level on the Fibonacci, which is the 0.382. If it can manage to break above that, well, then we're looking quite good on the further continuation up. As far as if it pulls back down, we have potential support here around $40.83. And then another level, well, actually, yeah. Next level down would be at $38.31 to where it could potentially re-enter into this massive, this is massive, massive bull pennant flag. We'll have to wait and see how that continues to play out. RSI is still in the median zone. And yeah, this was shared over on the subreddit and uh, it's supposed to actually happen on Twitter. So thank you for sharing that. That's how it got my attention. That was from Trey or True Q63. And so the post is on Twitter from Nathan G16894548. I don't really like the fact that it has all those names because that tends to make it look like it's a body count or whatever. But anyways, take a look at what they said. They said, as of today, Citadel supposedly covered 3.3 million shares. Yesterday, some unknown company, Altai, very similar to Iceberg, which Iceberg we've talked about in the past. Iceberg Research claimed about um, the fact that they were shorting amc and they felt it was going to go down look at picks shorted amc more than their entire company is worth so i google a few things check out what i found and this is pretty interesting stuff okay so it says right here uh Citadel supposedly covered 3.3 million shorts as of today november 16th yesterday an unheard of hedge fund i just mentioned all about that um shorted 4.2 million shares they have $136 million in assets, yet they placed a short bet against AMC worth $161 million. 
only has four employees, only one named on website. And that's a lot of money too, by the way, for only having four employees. GoDaddy built website that is not secured. The contact is the cell phone. It goes straight to voicemail. No voicemail, just standard. Your call has been forwarded. The president of Altai went to school at University of Chicago and studied business in the business program in the Kenneth C. Griffin Department of Economies, uh, of Economics. Things that make you say, hmm. Yeah, so here's Altai Capital with their website. And then... If you take a look here, the Kenneth C. Griffin Department of Economics, the University of Chicago, right? And then right here, this Rishi or Rishi, I don't know how you say his name, Rishi, Bajaj, email and phone number. It shows education, University of Chicago, Booth School of Business, right? University of Chicago. This is the economics department there. So his education, supposedly, he went and studied there. So there's a little bit of a connection it does make you raise an eyebrow. It raises some questions. I don't know, man. It's just very odd to me. What do you guys think about that? Tell us in the comments. And then also, just a little bit more information. 900,000 shares available to borrow. 47,920 ETF shares available to borrow. The fee has gone down just a tad bit at 0.6%. Was up at 0.8% uh, earlier for the day. But we've been seeing it around 0.6% a lot recently. As far as for calls out of the money, Almost a quarter of a million, 243,000 call options out of the money. And guess what? If they can force these shares to be out of the money, guys, they're going to be trying to do everything that they can because they're going to be making lots of money. This is the market makers, especially if it's those short-term call options. That's a lot of call options. If those moved in the money, we could be looking at a gamma squeeze, and that would be good. Dark pool data. Just bizarre numbers again. Negative 107 million shares. Guess what? Negative 4.267. That's about, it's more actually than four point and a quarter. Uh, 4.25 billion dollars. Negative 4.267 billion dollars. I made it too complicated trying to explain it that way. But negative 4.267 billion dollars. That's a lot of money. How is this stuff able to happen? It's just so bizarre that it still isn't getting enough attention for a full-on investigation. Like, this is the kind of stuff that you should say, look, we really need to get clarity here. Let's go to all the major players and just troubleshoot what's going on. Let's look at all your order books. Where are you sending things? Like, come on, guys. Anyways, I got referral links in the description if you want to get free cryptocurrency or free stock. It's free money for you guys. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. It does help us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we have a new video. And I will see you guys in the next episode.